Hi guys, this is the One Crafter. Today I'll be showing you how to automate fluid cows in Sky Factory 2.5. The items you're going to need for this are a casting table, seared tank, smeltery controller, smeltery drain, two seared bricks, one seared faucet, ten transfer pipes, three transfer nodes for items, one transfer node for liquids, one fluid tank, one better barrel, one chest, one rancher, four glass, lava, either a pan cast or an ingot cast. Ingot cast is for cows like copper cows that you get ingots from. Pan cast is for cows like ender, resin ender cows which you get ender pearls from. And a fluid cow. I'll be using a resin ender fluid cow. An easy way to power this if you want an easy way to power this, you're going to need these items. One magmatic dynamo, one lava and one water bucket, one igneous extruder, and two en energy conduits. The first thing you're going to want to do is place glass in this formation with two in between. Next, place your barrel in front of here and your rancher behind it with this side facing the barrel. Now put your fluid cow inside this area. Now put your fluid cow inside this area. I'll be using a bedrockium fluid cow, which we'll be using an ingot cast for since you get bedrock and ingots from that. Now place your chest behind the rancher and your fluid tank behind the chest and make sure to configure your fluid tank to pull from the chest and push upwards. Now take your smeltery items and place your smeltery controller facing this way smeltery tank to the side smeltery controller, sorry smeltery tank to the other side of it and your two smeltery bricks like that now place your casting table to the side of the tank under the smeltery drain and your seared faucet there now take your transfer nodes and place a transfer node for items here and your transfer pipes going to the side into the barrel. Now take your other transfer pipes and node and place on the side of the fluid tank going into the rancher. Make sure it does not connect to the chest, so place it one block apart. Place your bucket in the rancher, and this will automatically milk the cow for whatever fluid it has, so this, in my case, bedrockium. And then the transfer node will pull the empty bucket after it is taken through the chest and to the tank and put it back into the rancher. The fluid tank will put the items of the bucket into the smeltery drain, which will go into the smeltery. And you're going to need to take one bucket of lava or more and fill up the seared tank. Now to power this, you can use any power you would like, but an easy way to power this is to take your magmatic dynamos. You're going to want to connect your energy conduits to the bottom of the rancher, making sure it is insert, and then place your magmatic dynamo under that. Make sure it is extract only. Place your crucible one block away, and your fl fluid liquid transfer node from the crucible and then place your magmatic dynamo 
and connect it to the transfer node for items and then connect it with a transfer pipe going to the crucible. Place lava and water inside the magmatic dynamo, the rack, and then flint and steel and light it. This should make the cobblestone go into lava and this should power this which will get, give power to this. But you do not have to use this um, way of getting power. This is just a pretty easy way to power this by itself. Um, you can use any water wheels or any type of other power. But that is how you um, create an automatic fluid cow farm. You'll need to put an ingot cast or a pan cast if you have a resident ender cow. But that's how you automate fluid cows in Sky Factory 2.5. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any more suggestions for tutorials, leave them in the comments. But anyways, keep on crafting.